All right, Russell, here's your 2004 uh, F-150. Got the transmission poured out and inspected. And uh, what I wanted to show you, this is the bottom of the pan. You can see how black that fluid is, and it should be uh, all that metal throughout the bottom of the pan. The fluid's supposed to be cherry pink color. Um, cause of failure, more than likely, was uh, this sprag assembly here. And the sprag is supposed to rotate in one direction and lock up in the other direction, and it was locked up completely. As a result, uh, got a broken snap ring here, and this piston is all wallowed out on the inside right there. And uh, what happened was the clutches, it uh, just completely fried the clutches, frictions and steels, and uh, some of these uh, clutches are down to metal to metal. Uh, hardly any lining left on them at all. You can see this one, no lining on this side, is down to metal to metal. A little bit of trace of the lining right there, which used to be there. Same with this set of clutches right here. This is a friction line clutch, and it's down to metal to metal. There's no, uh, no uh, lining left on it. So this whole set of clutches right here, uh, gonna have to replace all the friction steel clutch plates throughout this entire assembly. Torque converter, this is not the factory torque converter. Uh, there's damage on the hub of the converter right here. The sealed unit also has a clutch inside of it. We're going to have to replace that torque converter. And then uh, just going to clean uh, the uh, case assembly and then re-sleeve uh, the uh, case right here where the bushing goes. And then in addition also we've got uh, band assembly. This band is extremely burnt and uh, this paper thin replace that. We've got some molded pistons that have to be replaced. The rubber gets hardened from extreme overheating, so both of these have to be replaced as well. And we've got an EPC solenoid that failed as a result of the metal and the debris going throughout the system. This is your valve body assembly, which uh, you can see it's just the, the metal right there, just where I wipe my finger. It shows where the metal and debris is going through the system. Uh, and after we do the PR valve, on the valve body, uh, needs a snap ring kit, and then uh, got a sun gear shell here. The sun gear shell, uh, if you look real closely, you can see, uh, you can see right here where it should be straight down and where it's cut into, and that's happening all the way around. Uh, there you can see it again right there, where the uh, shell is rocking back and forth and it's just uh, beating that metal out and that uh, causes excessive uh, end play and wear. So we're going to have to replace this sun gear and shell assembly as well. So there you have it. We've got a lot of uh, extreme overheating and a lot of uh, debris through the system so we're going to have to do our patented hot flush and uh, clean the transmission uh, thoroughly and then the hot flush will Plus the cooler lines going from the transmission to the radiator and the cooler inside the radiator to get all the contamination and debris uh, so that it doesn't go back into the uh, rebuilt transmission and create a problem. And uh, this comes with a five year 100,000 mile warranty and I'll get this uh, video uh, emailed to you along with an itemized written estimate shortly and then give me a call with any questions. Thank you.